G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this edition now. Not in my usual habitat today, as you can see from my background, but that doesn't mean that we don't have some amazing content for you. Now today we're gonna to be focusing on Microsoft Loop and in particular, tasks and how they integrate when we're working in one-to-one -one chats, group chats, and then also in the own personal ideation space inside the Microsoft Loop application. Now, quite often, we need to get things out of our head and into a single place and have a single application that we use to be able to go to to have everything in that particular location. And that also means uh, giving ourselves reminders or assigning ourselves tasks and things like that to be able to keep on top of things. So one of the ways that we can do that is in the ideation space, uh, the personal ideation space of Microsoft Loop. We can create a task list inside of there and assign certain things to uh, us personally or to yourself. And then that also now integrates in with Microsoft To Do. Uh, and then also, in addition to that, if we are working in a one to one chat and we add a task list to a conversation, or if we're in a group chat and we add a task list to a conversation in a group chat, that also now integrates into Microsoft To Do. So that is the focus of today's video. Let's dive in and have a look at how this works. All right, so let's start inside of the Microsoft Loop application and specifically the ideas section of the application. Now, similar to OneDrive for Business, this is only available to for you unless you add it to a workspace or you share it with somebody else to continue or ideate and co-collaborate inside of this page. Now, quite often we have ideas that pop into our heads and we need to get those ideas out of our heads and onto a digital page somewhere. Now, removing the friction and being able to do that regardless of where you are. So if, let's say, uh, you know, an idea pops into your head while you are going on a walk or you're not at your desk or things like that. We need to remove that friction and, and make it easy for us to be able to take that and get that out of our head and put it into a location. The Microsoft Loop application allows you to do that. It's accessible on your mobile device or any other device that you have access to. So this here, when we create a new page, we can add a task list to this page. Let's first give this page a, a, a title, all right? Let's go, uh, let's just call it my ideas for now. Now, what we need to do here is we hit a forward slash and we scroll down to task list and automatically we've got a task list added to the page for us, all right? So task name could potentially be organize a workshop, okay? So workshop for the IA uh, portion. All right, so that's something that I need to, to remember, all right? I'm not working with anyone else, it's just myself here. I need to add an, uh, an assignee here. So I will add myself as the assignee and let's give this a due date of Monday the 31st. So we've now added a task and I've basically assigned it to myself. Now, the integration here and what is really beneficial here is that it integrates in with Microsoft To Do. Because this has been assigned to Adele, I've assigned it to myself, basically, what we can do here is then we can now access Microsoft To Do from, again, any application, whether that be the installed application on your mobile device or any other device or inside of um, Microsoft 365 in the browser, we can then access that application and that is now synced and will appear inside of Microsoft To Do for us. All right, so let's just access and we'll have a look and we'll open up Microsoft To Do. There it is there. And what we'll see is that task that we've just assigned to ourselves will appear in Assigned To Me. So we can see here that I'm in the Assigned To Me tab inside of Microsoft To Do and there is that task there. We can see it's coming from my ideas. Now, when I open that task, you can see that I've got the loop icon. I can open it directly inside of Microsoft Loop as well, and you can see some additional options there. Now then, we can utilize the functionality of Microsoft To Do. We can mark it as important, 
or then we can also add it to my day that then adds it to the my day list all right so being able to use the task list as a personal uh, task list for yourself and assign things to you inside of the loop application means that we can then integrate that into your task management uh, application of Microsoft to do now how does that relate then to when we're having a conversation with an with a colleague or maybe it's multiple colleagues in a group conversation so we can then also add if we're in Microsoft teams we can then also add a task lists component to a conversation now when we do that again that now is going to integrate into Microsoft to do so if you assign a task to somebody else not just yourself that will then also appear in their assigned to me um, section of Microsoft to do as well so let's have a look at that functionality in practice now so I am logged in as Adele here I've got a conversation happening with Megan so what we might do here is let's add a, a new loop component in this conversation. Now the loop component we obviously want to do is the task list, all right? So let's add a task list here. We'll wait for that to add and let's go for, uh, we'll add a title for first. So let's go our tasks and let's assign a couple of tasks. So let's go create assets now megan is going to own that task so let's just pop in megan's assign that to megan and give that a due date of the 31st let's just remove this at symbol here and we might get um create pages and we'll assign that to Adele all right so let's pop that in here and again we're not in a workspace we're in a one-to-one a, a -one chat here okay so we need to make sure that that's done by Friday and then let's send this loop component so we're outside the context of Microsoft loop the application so we're not creating a plan a plan or anything like that for a particular workspace we're in a one-to-one -one chat so now we've got this task list. Now, how does that appear? And how do we keep track of our tasks? Well, if we go back into Microsoft To Do here, I'm just gonna refresh this page. And again, I'm logged in as Megan. What we will find is that we've inside of the Assign To Me section, you can see here that the uh, that task of Create Pages, which is this one here, that has been assigned to Megan, uh, to Adele, has now appeared in her assigned to me section. And again, using to do, we can add it to my day, we can add a due date, we can open it in Microsoft Loop if we need to as well. And then we can use the functionality of to do to manage this particular task. Now, the great thing here is that it is fully synchronized. So if I'm in to do, and I uh, tick this task off as complete, we get the amazing sound of, um, of Microsoft To Do ticking that task off, but that then also synchronizes back to the task, the loop task list that we had inserted into that conversation. So if I jump back into the conversation now with Megan, you can see that that create pages task has been checked and completed. All right, so not only does it appear in to do, there is a synchronization there that means that if we interact with that task in Microsoft to do, it then reflects directly back into our loop component as well. So not only when we're in a workspace in the Microsoft to, uh, loop application, do we, we have a planner plan created for that workspace, now what we can do inside of a one-to-one -one chat or a group chat, we can also have that functionality that now integrates in with Microsoft To Do. So I hope that brings you some value today. The integration of tasks, not only in a workspace now, but in a one-to-one -one chat or a group chat is across into Microsoft To Do as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.